Global warming has become a serious issue that every person should focus on. Our time on this planet has been little, but the damage done is greater. From 50% of global forests being removed to 375 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions since the start of industrialization. The main cause of global warming is the phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. The harmful gases in the atmosphere let the sunlight go in but keep some of the heat from escaping. Human activities such as burning of fossil fuels and plastics, pollution and deforestation have increased those gases in the atmosphere. What does it mean to be one of the world's most climate vulnerable nations? Extreme weather events and rising sea levels? The Philippines is ground zero for climate change. That's why the Philippines is constantly ranked among the most vulnerable in the world. While humans cause the rapid rate of climate change, humans are also the ones who can address it. Reducing global warming might be challenging, but it is not entirely impossible. One of the best solutions is to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy because it does not produce harmful gases in the atmosphere. Less usage of electricity is also a great solution because for less energy use means less dependence on fossil fuels. We should also practice the 6 Rs because if we do not manage our waste properly, it can create emissions which can cause the increase of global warming rate. Another solution is for us to plant trees. Trees and plants are known as the integral part of the natural atmospheric exchange here on Earth because of photosynthesis. Sharing information and raising awareness to other people regarding global warming and the ways to conservation can also help us in achieving our goal to reduce global warming. There are many ways in reducing global warming, and we believe that these steps are the most important ones. The Philippines is ground zero for experiencing climate change, and there are some amazing stories in the local level that just need the support of the international community. Our planet is now in grave danger, but it is not too late for us to take action. These steps may seem like a small step in conquering this problem, but as long as we all work together towards the improvement of our environment, everything is possible. Remember, the planet Earth does not belong to us. We belong to the Earth. We are the problem, but we can also be the solution. Let us all start working together on our calling and mission to save Mother Earth today.